Hello everybody, Jack McKeever here. And this is another ramble, you could say. Um, I've been having some visions lately that I just haven't been able to put together. I did my moonwalk tonight, and there was a lot of clarity. Like, when you sit there and you think, you know, you see a picture of a black bear, and then you see black berries. You see a pictures of uh, a mulberry bush, and you see skunks. And it took me a while to put it together, and then I said, oh, this is all interrelated, right? Because it's an ecological system and what's good for the goose is good for the gander type of thing then I came across something um, on an Algonquin tea ramble that I truly enjoyed because it made everything just click together and the funny thing is after the moonwalk I went right to this page and bam there it was see every plant you think of the trees and you think of uh, the plants under the trees like the periwinkle in, in, in the Amazon that's getting wiped out. It's almost extinct now, which is right here, our heart. That's what the periwinkle's for. The trees are our oxygen. And what does our blood need to flow? What does our heart need? Okay, so the, everything is, is all combined. So when you wipe out the trees, you're wiping out nature. Animals are no different, you see, because everything in nature, the trees, the shrubs, the plants, everything, everything has a twin spirit. Okay, there's spirits in the trees, spirit in the bush, spirit in the plants. Every animal is interrelated with one of those spirits. It's the twin spirit. It was, it's, it's what makes all the elements combine to one. Okay? No different than twin souls. When they meet, they combine into one. All the elements. Most of us are accented on two. We may have all four in us. But most of us accent on two elements. Well, here you go here's something new for you maybe you know maybe you don't that's what happens when you meet your twin spirits okay all elements combine to one okay now this is a story about um, the loon and sweet gale did you know sweet gale in ancient times was used to make beer because back then everything that you drank was also a food there wasn't a separation and that's why a lot of people said oh well you drink beer well it energized you it never depressed you like the beer does today but you know church being what the church said they put it against the law that you couldn't use sweet gill you had to use hops well hops were all done on their farms so they hit two birds with one stone you see they controlled the monopoly they also controlled the people sweet gill was used originally in beer okay I want to read this to you. I know it's four minutes. This could be a little bit longer than I would want, but because I found this and it's amazing, I wanted to read it to you. And I don't want to change any words, so I wanted to read it as it was. Sweet Gill is the wide old grandmother, wise old grandmother. She's one of the weavers who made this land. Her roots hold the land close like a basket, like a nest not giving earth away to sweeping fingers of water along the shorelines. Her sweet comforting aroma invites us in to sleep safely on her shoulders. We humans have always drunk her, so my ancestors and the spirits of the land explained many things about her. Like all plants and animals, she has a spirit twin. 
the to totemic animal of sweet gale is the loon. The loon is one of the most powerful birds. He remains unchanged from millions of years before all the other birds and millions more from before humans. Loons nest safely in the tangled weave of sprawling sweet gale stalks reaching from the plant tips that we pick for tea to the shore. The scent of their hatchlings hidden by Sweet Gale's perfume. Sweet Gale and her tonic relation both span all three dimensions, water, earth, and air. They balance and hold in place the boundaries between these dimensions. The lucidness she gifts us within our dreams come from this mastery over the three realms. What plants do in ecology, they do for us internally. Sweet gale helps the water flow clear, it's diuretic, and purifies it, detoxification. While building the strength of the shoreline, she holds the nutritive silt that builds up along the shoreline, so for us, she draws out toxins and helps absorb food from our bloodstream more efficiently. She strengthens and cleanses our organs. Sweet gale grows in thick hedges along the shores, so has developed antifungal, antibiotic, and antiparasitic qualities to protect itself, as well as being able to repel mosquitoes. Mosquitoes and other pathogens feed on shoreline plants long before they suck blood only needing blood to reproduce. When we lay down with others and sleep, we can dream together with her help. Our consciousness, like the sweet gale's roots, are all interlaced underground and underwater. We are one in the collective dream lab realm. While our dreams with her may be more colorful, her teachings that come to us are black and white, like loon markings loon's eyes, orange like the setting sun, purifies us when we are in a dream time, like loon's masterful flying under water. When we drink sweet and gill, we have lucidity, and we have the ability to move whatever direction we will in our, in our dreams. Loon, like her spirit twin sweet gill, calls us back to our most ancient self, to our ancestors, and to ancient earth. I just wanted to read that to you because it's such a a touching statement, okay? We're not only killing ourselves by cutting down trees and not doing nothing about it. It's all fine and dandy. You can raise $750 million to put a historical site back together. Why can't we do the same? for our trees? Why can't we let our flowers and our floral survive when there's things around that we don't even need to use the trees for anymore? Even, even linen is not made by trees. And there's, there's a lots of other things we could grow that we can use for paper. So it's a thought and, and we got to really think about this because there's a spirit in that bush, there's a spirit in that tree, and they have animal totems. If you are a twin and you've ever found your twin and you've touched your twin, you know the energy that comes from that. It's such an, a beautiful event. Why would you want to take that away from nature? That's all for today. Have a great day. That's Jack McKeever, after my moonwalk. Oh, moonwalk. Talk to you later. Bye.